You were spending way too much money on your wedding in 2024, and I can prove it. Hey, my name is Rob. My team and I have shot over 175 weddings in and out of the United States. So if you're getting married in 2024, you're probably wondering, like, how can you justify saying that I'm spending too much on my wedding? Obviously, not everyone is spending the same amount on their wedding. Not everybody is spending $50,000 on the wedding. Not everybody else is spending $3,000 on their wedding either. So let's talk about the reason why even the people in the middle of that are probably spending way too much on their wedding in 2024. A lot of brides use the Knot website, and that's fantastic. This is a great place to get information about weddings, find vendors for weddings. But something that also us vendors can do is go on there and look at market trends and see what's going on. I was on the Knot earlier, and I saw that in 2020, just a few years ago, people were only spending about $19,000 on weddings. Now, you can easily justify that as, the, you know, the pandemic was happening and, you know, you couldn't have that many people at weddings. Weddings were a lot smaller, and that is absolutely true. But what I also think was happening was the pandemic was helping people find out what is most important to them. So I'm going to go into this with that mindset that in 2020, people were figuring out what was most important which was probably first getting married, and we can look at why you're spending too much money in 2024. First off, people are overestimating how much stuff they actually need for their wedding, as well as how many people they actually want to invite to their wedding. Something that was great about the pandemic is weddings were smaller, so you were able to justify only inviting 100 people to your wedding, or heck, 50 people to your wedding, and having a much smaller, much more intimate wedding. Well, I'm here to let you know and give you permission. Just enjoy your wedding day. You don't have to invite 300 people to your wedding because when you do that, you will never be able to get around to every single person there at your wedding. And if you do, you're going to miss out on a lot more things during your reception than you want to or that you may even realize. Think about this. If you were to invite 300 people, have a good size, massive, not even a good size, actually a big size wedding of 300 people, then you would have to spend one minute with each person to be able to fill in every single person who's coming to your wedding. That's if your reception is five hours long. That is only visiting with guests. So the first tip I have for not spending too much money on your wedding is take that guest list down and that is okay there's your permission relax sit back and let me tell you about the next thing that you're probably doing to waste money on your wedding in 2024 okay now think about it do you actually want to have a fully stocked and fully open bar i know people love their alcohol i enjoy the nice drink too but you do not necessarily need to have a fully stocked and fully open bar. You don't necessarily need the hard liquor. And let's be honest, you don't necessarily need Uncle Jerry out there drinking way too much, taking off his clothes, and being taken away by the cops once again. Okay, that part's kind of a joke, but we've seen some crazy stuff. Here's a great price point analysis for you. If you have a fully stocked and fully open bar, you're going to be spending between $20 and $50 per person more than what you're already paying for normal catering on each person to just drink. So factor that in. And then if you actually just have a an open bar even that just has beer and just has wine, then you're only going to be spending between 10 and $20 on each person. Beer and wine is plenty to get the party started and going and people enjoy it. Just ask all the fraternities out there. Beer is something people enjoy. I myself have even been to a lot of high-end weddings where you have all this nice liquor, all this fancy wine, you know, champagne, everything like that. And when it gets later into the night and sometimes even earlier into the night at these swanky events, you still see people with the Michelob Ultra in their hand. So my point there is just don't spend money, don't waste money on things you don't even actually want. All right, now this third one is really going to kind of get me in some trouble, I think, but I'm going to say it because it's true and it is important. When you're spending money on your wedding, you don't have to hire a vendor for every single thing. My third point is spending too much on things you don't actually want care about. I always say that you need three people. You need a good planner to get the party going. You need a DJ to keep the party going. And you need a halfway decent photographer to capture every moment that they can so you can remember it later. 
And I'm not just saying that because we're photographers. You may have an uncle who can barbecue and cook all the food. That's great. Use him, even toss him a little cash. But here's the thing. You're probably not going to spend as much on your uncle as you are on an actual catering company. Oh, what? You don't actually care to have someone serving drinks? That's fine. Go ahead and get some coolers. Get some ice. Make it happen that way. That is okay, too. You will save money. Maybe you have a friend on Facebook that you don't even realize it, but they are dying to get into baking. Help them get their start by making your cake. Pay for the ingredients. Pay for, for some of their time. But here's the thing. You're probably going to save money with that friend versus getting this beautiful cake from an actual baker. Now, I'm not saying that these people aren't important, that their jobs aren't important. I have tons of friends in these businesses, and I know how much better a wedding can be when you have those things. But if you're someone who does not care about all those extra things, then don't spend your money on it. All right, now I have one more thing for you. It's kind of a bonus, uh, and it kind of just leads into my next part. But spend a little time hunting down, finding, put a little effort into getting discounts. Discounts happen everywhere. You can go to open houses and find really good deals. You can go to your wedding photographer or your planner, sometimes your caterer. Your venue definitely has preferred vendors. And I guarantee some of them have good deals for different venues or working with other planners because things just get made easy whenever you're working with friends. So they will give you better prices for the other people that you're working with that you've teamed up with to make your wedding day happen because they know it's going smooth as well. And then the last thing you can do is look around the internet in your city for giveaways that are happening. People do giveaways all the time, and actually that kind of helps me lead into our next thing. Once a year, Everything Photography is able to do one giveaway for a full wedding day of photography. And we're excited to do this. It's a great marketing opportunity. It helps us meet some great people. Helps us help you out whenever maybe you are trying to save some money and not spend $5,000 on a photographer. We are doing a giveaway once a year, and now is that time. So how do you get entered into that giveaway? All you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel and then leave a comment down below and that enters you the first time into the giveaway. Now, this is the first time we're gonna be doing this. If you want a second chance to be entered into that giveaway, all you have to do is come find us on April 21st at Thunderbird Chapel between 1 and 4 p.m. We'll be there at the open house. Like I was just saying, vendors do great deals at open houses. If you come find us there, your name will be entered in one more time, and you will have two chances. That is double the opportunity to have free wedding photography on your wedding day. Now, once again, the first chance you can have is just to leave a comment down below and subscribe to this channel. We'll be entering those names as well as the names from the open house on the 21st into the drawing that will be happening on Instagram on April 23rd. So go to our Instagram, Everything Photography Team, and find us on April 23rd. We will be posting a video, it should be around noontime, of us doing the drawing, and you may just win yourself a full day of wedding photography completely free to you. We'll see you there.